When you're dealing with an arithmetic series, it's a little bit different than when you're dealing with the sequence. Here you're adding the numbers together. There's still a common difference. If you take any number, subtract the previous one from it, you should get the same number each time. So in this case, let's say we take uh, uh, D is equal to, let's take this one number right here, 37 minus the previous one, 31, we get 6. So 6 is the common difference in this series. We can still be asked to find the nth number in the series, which can be found like this. So let's say we want to find uh, a, uh, a sub 18, the 18 number in that series. Uh, this is equal to the first one, a sub 1, plus uh, the difference, 6 minus 1 times, uh, I don't have this correctly, I'm jumping the gun here, n is 18, so 18 minus 1 times the common difference of 6. All right, and the first one in the series is the number 1, so this can be written as 1 plus 17 times 6. Now 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 7 is uh, 42, that's 102 plus 1, that would be 103. So just like with a sequence, you could still be asked to find the common difference, you could still be asked to find the n number in the series, but now we can also do one more thing, we can find the sum of the first n numbers, n being any number you want. And so this is the equation right here. So the sum of the first n numbers in the series is equal to the number n times the first one in the series plus the last one in the set that you want to add together divided by 2. Now if you think about it, the first one plus the last one added together divided by 2 is the average value of all the numbers in the sequence from the first one to the nth one, and if you multiply it times n, you simply say, I take the average value times however many I have, and that should give me the sum, which is of course correct. But let's say that we want to find the sum of the first 10 in that sequence, so that's equal to 10, times the first one, which would be 1, plus the tenth one. Now, here you have to go back to the previous equation to find the tenth one in that series. So here we can say that a, the tenth one in that, in that series, is equal to a sub 1, plus 10 minus 1 times the common difference of 6. And of course, this would be 1, so this is equal to 1 plus 9 times 6, which is 54, plus 1 is 55. So you still have to use that to find the end number in the series. So this is plus 55, the whole thing divided by 2. Of course, 1 plus 55, that's 56, so 10 times 56 divided by 2, 2 goes into 56 28 times, so this is equal to 10 times 28, which is 280. So it's a pretty clever, pretty quick way to find the sum of n numbers in the series. So that's how you deal with an arithmetic series. All right, now we'll go on to some sequences, I mean to some geometric series and sequences is what I'm trying to say.